or scotch? I think her first relationship will always be with the scotch. But yes, we will see her. Um, we will see. Yes, we will explore other relationships as well. No. <laughs> At the end of season one, she was stripped away of everything. You know, her ex-husband passed away, um, was killed. Her, um, her sister has gone missing, and she's lost her job. So one thing that she uh, you know, dedicated her life to. So season two, um, you see her struggle with that, though, and try to redefine herself. Welcome back to Comic Con. You're an old pro at this point. I'm the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be the mayor of something. You can be the mayor of Comic Con. That's not a bad thing. How does it feel to be back with this show? What's different about this and some of your other experiences that you've had so far? Oh, you know, it's so great to be here at Comic Con. I really think that someone said to me earlier, they said Defiance is like the MVP of the shows here because it really is science fiction. You know, it, it really embraces science fiction. And, um, we have kind of like supernatural shows and we have genre shows, but and we have fantasy shows, but with science fiction, it's defined. And so it's great to, and we actually have aliens. How great is it to finally have aliens back on TV on sci fi? You know? Um, so we finally have that and part of that is huge. And we experience such huge love here at Comic Con. Now, what about uh, Kenya? Because obviously the sister relationship is fantastic. So are you hoping you get that back next season? Because otherwise, I think Amanda would be pretty lonely without her sister. Yeah, I mean, you know, Amanda's relationship with Kenya is not just a sister, it's also in some ways mother daughter. She raised Kenya through some very difficult times and they have some very uh, harrowing experiences together. Uh, she's lost. She's lost. She doesn't, she, in her mind, she doesn't know Kenya's dead. Um, <laughs> but uh, in her mind, uh, Kenya's missing. And she doesn't understand why. She doesn't know if she said something her fall or what happened and, and so her whole motivation during season two is, is trying to find out what happened to Kenya. So, and now Amanda's being pretty diplomatic when it comes to dealing with day tag. Well, the blood's gonna come off at some point. I hope so. He fixed that election. I know. Did you see in the background I mean, I the final episode, they had a poster of Amanda's poster, and and I, I think Tony and Jamie really did that. <laughs> I was watching it with Jamie, and uh, I was like, oh my god, because I didn't, wasn't there that day, there were films, so I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, so I need to get back at him for sure, for that poster alone. Because it's out there somewhere. I'm sure, um, I think either Tony or Jamie took it home and framed it. <laughs> What's, what's the future for the town? Yeah. Uh, that's the big question. Um, I think uh, you know, the Earth Republic has taken it over and they're trying to get the rule of night. And the big question is, is you know, how long are they going to stay? And how much destruction are they going to do? And can we get back to what we were? I have to ask selfishly. We had some pretty good lucky guest stars recently on Warehouse 13. Any chance we're going to try and finagle some of your old friends on the fight? I've been trying. I hope so. I would love to get Cruz McCarpenter up there. He's going to be in Toronto. He's is one of my best friends. It would just be awesome to have her there while I'm working and never working. I think she'd be perfect. She'd be great. She'd be a public representative of some Yeah, maybe she'd take over the brothel. Or, you know, she's sexy a lot. Um, uh, I'd also love to get Claire Kramer, another one of my best friends up there. Um, so yeah, I've been pushing. I've been pushing. Uh, Rebecca Mater from Nowhere New Family. So I've been begging people. Tell me about that Twitter campaign. Yes, thank you. Are you guys going to be guest stars on show You know, um, Sugar would like to be. She's white. She wants to be a cast of the dog. Um, Jamie won't like her because Sugar's, Sugar's much cuter than Jamie. The same. Uh, Bamboo, on the other hand, um, he doesn't speak the limelight. Although he's very handsome. So, he also, if he were to be on the show, he'd like to play German Shepherd. And they're not willing to give him that chance. I 
I talked to the producers about it. They said, we don't have a precedent big enough to turn him into a German Shepherd. So, you know, it's possible. Thank you. 